Hello everyone. Welcome to ECF Edu Blog. Today on the English language is the topic shifting stress. Don't forget, we've had two topics on stress before this one. This is the third topic on stress. I say this because I want to to follow these lessons as they come. Now, in shifting stress, we are looking at how words mean different things by the mere change of their stress pattern. As we have it on the board, some bisyllabic words have two pronunciations. The difference in pronunciation affects both meaning and class. All right? When there is a difference in pronunciation, the meaning of the word so pronounced will be affected and the part of speech will also be affected. A word used as a noun in one context with the stress on the first level may be used as a verb in another context with the stress on the second syllable. Alright? That is to say, if we have um, rebel, if you must, rebel, if you must, rebel is a verb. But if we have you're a rebel. You see? You're a rebel. This one says, rebel if you must. This says, you're a rebel. So, the pronunciation rebel is different from rebel. Rebel is a verb. Rebel is a noun. And it will be quite on English to say, you are a rebel. No. It will be quite on English to say, rebel, if you must, that would be wrong. So, you need to know the intricacies, how to use some of these things come naturally as you acquire the language. But where there has been a mispronunciation around you, you should try follow these lessons and get such corrected. Now, um... Much of the time, Nigerians, for instance, are hardly aware of the pronunciation challenge. What is quite popular amongst Nigerian users of English language is challenge. So you hear people say, I have a challenge. But it should be, I have a challenge. Challenge me. Challenge me. All right? So, challenge is the verb. Challenge is a noun. So, you don't have challenge. You have challenges. Or you have a challenge. Here is demand. Um, the noun form is demand. The verb form is demand. 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 And all that. So, knowing how to use... Okay, let's uh, put this one in a sentence. Let me say, challenge or challenge. Challenge or challenge. This is the verb, and this is the noun. Challenge. The stress is on the second syllable. Challenge. The stress is on the first syllable. As you may have learned uh, in the second topic on stress, most nouns are stressed on the first level, but most verbs are stressed on the second level. So this has played out with this um, particular word, C-H-A-L-L-E-N-G-E. -E. Stressing its second level to achieve the verb and its first level to achieve the noun. Okay, so we shall pronounce these words as they are now. Uh, we'll try to put them in sentences and we'll do more. To do so, refuse to pack the refuse. 
refuse to pack the refuse. Refuse is the verb. Refuse is the noun. So let's go. Here are nouns and adjectives. So let's see. Um, okay, let me put this. Adjective perfect. The verb form is perfect. So, pronounce after me. It's a challenge. Challenge. Demand. Demand. Rebel. Rebel, refuse, refuse, perfect, perfect, I perfected, um, my penalty skills, my penalty taking skills in three days, I perfected my penalty taking skills in three days. Okay. Try to be perfect. Try to be perfect. So perfect is the adjective. Perfect is the verb. Expert. Expert. Export. Export. He exports goods. I would need some exports. So export goods brought from outside your country. Export the act of taking goods out of your country for sale. Import. 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 Invite. 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 So, uh, this word is getting a lot of popularity these days. That is the noun form of invite, which is a uh, invite. Uh, you invite people for parties, marriage, ceremonies, and all of that. Um, the invitation you send to them is their invite. Respect. Respect. That's the noun form. Respect. Respect. You earn respect. You respect others. Respect other people's property. Contact. Contact. A list of names and telephone numbers on your phone is your contact. 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 That is get in touch with the verb form. Contract. 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 Conduct, 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 that is behave yourself. This is your behavior, this is behave. Project, 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 subject, 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 address, address. Address, address, desert, 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 that is a barren place, a place of only sand, uh, it's said to be a desert. Then desert means to vacate, to leave a place completely that nobody is found there, the place is deserted. Present, 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 he gave me Christmas present. He presented a card to me. Object. Object. So that's how this one goes. Always remember what or how to pronounce a word given the context that you intend. Because if you pronounce this word wrongly, you might be passing a different kind of message to your listener. You might not even know, but those who understand English 
will be confused if you pronounce invite as if it were invite. If you pronounce contact as if it were contact. Take note of those as we bring you more lessons on stress. Thank you for being there.